Hello again, I am Blunty. This is Fallout 76. In my character's hand there, you see a camera, uh, which is weird because this game already has a camera mode, which is what I'm in right now. Uh, choo -choo. Uh, and the camera mode in this game is actually pretty good. I love a good camera mode in a video game because I love taking screenshots because I'm a video guy and, uh, you know, photography has been a hobby of mine for, well, long before I, YouTube was even a thing that existed. Uh, just did not need to take that one. Uh, what I meant to do is this, because I hear something. Excuse me a second! There seems to be some problems around here somewhere. Someone's growling at me. Hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. Why are you spawning inside my bedroom? Hi. <laughs> are you stuck up there? You are stuck up there. Shush. Take a nap on the couch. You'll be fine in the morning. Wastelanders gave this game an update, made it look a bit better. Got a little bit punchier in its colors and the lighting has been updated a bit and uh, that combined with the fact that there's a camera in the game that actually works like a gun in that you right click to, as if you're aiming down sights to use it. Uh, you actually have to have to craft film for it and everything, like, like, you, like you craft ammo. It's still not nearly as powerful as the photo mode built into it. Like, there's no filters, there's no focus, there's no depth of field, there's... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, nothing. But, as photographers will know, limitations provoke creativity. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to go on a photo walk around the ruins of Appalachia here. And we need a theme. So let's see here. What are we going to do? I am looking for combat in black and white. Uh, but that's what we're going to think about. We're going to think about like a Polaroid. So we get one shot. Actually, you get six shots. I've got to find six photos. It's quite difficult to go outside on a real photo walk right now. In fact, it would be desperately irresponsible to just go for a wander with my camera right now. So I'm doing it in a video game. So that's that's the challenge. We're gonna we're gonna walk around. We're gonna pick our shot real careful. We're gonna try and keep ourselves out of trouble. I wish I had the uh, Chinese stealth suit armor unlocked because that way we could sneak around real quiet with the camera and get some real cool shots. But Maybe we'll try that in a future episode of this, if this video proves, pr proves to be, you know, even remotely popular. So, uh, let's pick a spot on the map and go for shot number one. Let's see if we can find a camp that someone is currently at at the moment. There we go, there's someone at their camp. Right, and here we are. Ooh, ooh, nice base. Look at all the colors inside. Uh, we should wave hello. Oh, they're off on an adventure. Okay, bye then. Well. I was kind of hoping that they would sort of come under attack at the base. That way we can get a combat shot there, but uh, I guess not. So, ooh, someone's playing the piano in there. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho. Careful there. Careful there, Blunty. You know what? Maybe I'll change my challenge to landscape, because look at that. We haven't taken a first shot. I can change the rules if I like. Should I? No, I shouldn't. I made up my mind about the rules. We're looking for combat. Let's listen out for the sounds of... Ooh, here we go. What's going on here? Scorched Zealot. There's potential for combat. Oh! Ah! Oh! We gotta find a shot before we die! Uh, zerp, zerp. There we go! Woo! Alright, come here then. Yep, yeah, step, step, step! No, you're a bad model! Okay, I don't, uh... I don't generally recommend photographers stab their models after a photo shoot, but... <laughs> Let's see, how do we do? Uh, photo gallery. I've got to remember, I've got to, I've got to edit these into black... Ooh, actually, you know what? Under the heat of fire, that's not a bad shot. Once we convert that into black and white, we might be getting somewhere. It's a pity his leg has disappeared into the, con in the rock there, but not a bad start. Yeah, there are ongoing daily quests with this camera too. There's a certain character in-game will give you a quest every day. To go and take photos. So I've only done one of those so far, but I've been concentrating on doing other stuff. But are we in trouble here? We might be in trouble here. You know what? I kind of wish I'd picked a different challenge. I should have gone for landscape, is what I should have gone for. Look at that. Look at that. One shot down, five to go. We start to think someone might have come through and cleared this area up. Usually there's there's some scorched and a mutant or two. This area is quiet as right now. 
hear someone, but that's can't. I don't know, how much would you pay to have vats in real life, like as a photographer? Never mind combat. Just being able to hit a button on your on your on your on your Apple Watch instead of your Pip Boy, and I'll just go, hey, there's a thing over there. It's alive and it's moving. Would that make you a better or worse photographer if you relied on that? Worse, I think. Might make you stop looking around. Because vats can make you a bit lazy in this game sometimes when you go through an area, you just go tap, 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 tap on the vats. You know what? Who says it has to be live combat? This is this is life and death drama right here. Not a very interesting background though. If we come across a better posed one with a more interesting background, maybe we can. Sorry, right. I poofed his corpse. Ooh, ooh, there we go. There's some. There's some. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Here we go. Here we go. We just need to find our composition here. Oh, there, 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 there. Right there. I'd like to have the Capitol building in the background just for a sense of place. And also that building that's fallen over, that angle is nice too. Come back a little bit here. Maybe if we go to two times and push in actually. There we go. That way we can get close to the drama here. Although we don't have a stronger line with that building anymore. We've lost the compression of the background. So let's try this again. Gotta remember, we're gonna go into black and white too, so that yellow is not gonna pop like it is right now, but hopefully it'll still be nice and bright in the conversion. And. Doink! I think we got that super mute in the background. I don't know whether you'll be able to tell he's there when there's no motion or anything, but. There we go. Shot number two. Let's have a look at it in its uh, raw form. I should be safe enough to check that here, right? There we go. Now all I need to do is the black and white conversion. Next on the map. Uh, so we're here right now. Here we go. Someone's at their base in the lake right here. I wonder if they're in any trouble. I would love to get a shot of a player in battle. Oh, here we go. There's a mutant running over there. Where is he running to? Is he running to combat? Is he on his way here? I wonder if we can draw him over here. As a, as a journalist, I'm forbidden from interfering. But I feel like if I gave him a... Ooh. Oh, you've got uh, oh, Santa Bot. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh, no. Everyone appears to have died. This is terrible. Error. Cheer level. Dropping to catastrophic levels. Rebooting. <laughs> Complete. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Alright, ooh. Are you two going to fight by any chance? Let's try all these guys for a while. Are they going to fight? Oh. I might have to defend myself here in a minute. It's alright, he's only a level 4. I don't think he's going to attack the mutant, though, so... You know what? Look at that reflection. I mean, it's not exactly ray tracing, but it's still nice, isn't it? Nope, four shots left. Can't waste them on non-combat. Alright, I guess it's another combat. With me. So let's find... Oh, here we go. We can use the container here. There's... No... No, there's no frame there. What about this boat? Is that going to do me any favours? Some interesting lines. Oh, I think he's I think he's lost me. Oh, no, he's firing at the base is what he's firing at. He didn't see me at all. And I think the owner of that base just took him out though. <laughs> no more hiding for you. That, uh... That there was not photography. That was just me getting myself out of a little bit of trouble. Everything's okay. I'm a combat photographer. <laughs> Literally. I did go into this thinking originally that I would play a completely pacifist. I, I would pretend I was an unarmed photographer, but... <laughs> you just can't get away with that sometimes. I'm in trouble again! Ow. I'm gonna beat you to death with my camera! Camera does not do a lot of damage. 
This is a Russian made camera. You have no idea how tough it is. <laughs> Today we learned the camera is a melee weapon. Not a very effective melee weapon. Oh, hey, you know where there's always going to be some infighting? White Springs is always, the robots there are always fighting off someone trying to poke through the walls. We'll get something there. This is probably my favorite shot right here that I've ever taken with the in-game photo mode. I forget where the cabin was exactly. I took that when the game first launched, back when I last played. I wish I could remember where that cavern was because I'd like to go back there and have another go at that shot. Alrighty, let's trace along the wall of... Oh, there we go. Called it already. Quickly now. Who are you fighting off? Oh dear. I might have bitten off more than I can chew here. Got it. Woo! Probably a bad time to check the photo, but I'm going to risk it. Uh, photo gallery. Oh, action shots. Look at that. The jawline, the, you know, the jaggedy teeth all highlighted, the little creepy action poses, the robot in action. Yeah, the, the boom here didn't do me any favors. Could have done a better job at framing. But we only have one chance. We're dealing with Polaroid camera rules here, so that's what we're going to have to deal with. I'm going to go along the wall and see if we can find another example. Because like I said, the White Springs Resorts, their boards are always under attack in one way or the other. Oh, oh, oh. Robots are under attack down here somewhere. Ooh, here we go. What do we got here? Scorch champion. All right. That robot's not going to actually fight back, is it? Because that's not one of the combat bots. It's a construction bot. But maybe, just maybe, if we can use this fence. Yeah, here we go. Let's grab this one here. And wait for him to walk by. And... Oh, come on! No. Okay. There we go. Boop! Oh, I think I got the action shot. I think I got the action shot. Let's have a look. Uh, photo gallery. I always overshoot that menu. Oh, yeah. Look. Puff of smoke. Big swing arm going on there. I don't know if that's going to work in black and white. Morgantown Airport might provide us with something interesting. Okay, let's see what we can find in here. I have a sneaking suspicion it will be another photo of myself under attack. You know what? Let's, let's see if we can get something with the control tower in the background to sell the fact that it's an airport. Here we go. Right, we're not in combat. Whoop! Now we are. <laughs> but that was definitely a combat shot nonetheless. I mean, combat doesn't have to be necessarily in a fight. These guys were ready for a fight. Not quite ready for a fight with someone with a level 50 knife, but still. Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me, can I take your portrait? Did I say portrait? I did. I, I meant to say, can I stab you in the larynx? I always get those two mixed up. That's why I'm not a very good street photographer. But, uh, you know, you get in trouble with the cops and there's a whole big thing and you have to explain it to the family. Excuse me, gonna take your portrait! Oh, is that your spine? I'm sorry. Right, uh, what was I doing? Oh yes, I was a photographer. Sorry, I got a bit carried away with the uh, bloody violence there for a second. Right, I think we have one shot. We have one shot left. One shot left. Let's go somewhere dramatic. I'd have to be a bit more careful around this place because it is a higher level area. And I have been letting my armor take a bit of a beating. Still seems to be in one piece. I don't have any warnings about it yet. Okay, that's not real. Those are more weird mannequins. All right, if we get ourselves into trouble. Oh, combat! Run into the combat! Oh, here we go. Here's our action shot. Quickly now before everyone's dead. Nope, gotta be closer. 
Closer, 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 closer. If the shot's not good enough, you're not close enough. Apparently I can't take a shot while I'm jumping. Come on, someone take a shot. Shoot me a laser beam. I think I messed that one up. Alright. Let's go end this. Did I get the shot? Did I get it? Oh, I don't think I got it. That's a very boring shot. I'm upset with my final shot. Eh, we'll see if we can save it in editing. I don't think we can. You know what? I like that one. I like that one. Eh, eh. You know what? I think we got about a 50% success rate. But let's go into editing and see how we do. Okay, a little bit of editing. I haven't got, I've not done anything too fancy here. Just a little bit of basic black and white. Fiddle with the contrast a bit. Maybe add in some grain so it looks like a bit of an older photo from something that was actually shot on film as opposed to, well, literally a video game screen capture. But this is where we're starting. So I can just hit this here. So there's our starting point. Uh, and there's our black and white. I actually do think it looks better in color. That, that Those laser beams just and the, and the green glowing stuff on his back really do make it pop. But I don't mind it in black and white. I've blown out the uh, whites a little bit, so these, you know, laser beams look like they're glowing a bit more and sort of help punch it up. I still, I'm still not happy about the boom arm in the way. I wish I'd been able to squat a bit lower, but you know, I've only got standing and squatting. There's only so much I can do with uh, the mobility I have available to me, but I do like this one. It is a nice action shot, it sort of tells a bit of a story and everything. It's not so bad. So with this one, I've kind of given it a little bit of a soft focusing going on just to make it look a little bit more dreamy, a little bit more dramatic. And what about also, I've given it a, uh, a white vignette around outside, sort of to pull the eye towards all this contrast sort of sitting in the middle here. And yeah, it's the pose and the action that sells it the most. I like the composition of this. I like the way the eye gets drawn through. We've got this sort of angles right there. And that sort of leads into the angle of the body reaching down here as well. It's all very diagonal and strong. And then you've got this very strong horizontal thing up in the middle here. Just, this doesn't really doesn't, you know, it doesn't tell the story, but it stops this otherwise dead area of the picture from being just dead space, basically. It tells the story of a ruined world back there, but all the drama is, is right here. And some of that was me and my camera, but a lot of it was just the way these things were posed in the game as well. Quite like that one. Next up, I think I really like this one. I, I, I do wish there was a bit more contrast. I mean, I could punch it up and sort of paint in and burn and and, and, and sort of make this sort of all sort of darky and silhouette and stuff like that to punch it up a bit. But I don't like fiddling that much with images, especially when I'm shooting like this, sort of sort of shooting from the hip kind of thing. What you get is what you get, the sort of street photography style photography. Uh, so I don't want to fiddle with it too much. Uh, but yeah, this, actually this does, it's, it's, it's kind of a street photography kind of thing because it does, the more you look at it, you see just details everywhere. There's bones down here and this little guy up here and this guy over here and, it reaching into the edge of the frame over here and this weeping guy here over the corpse and this guy with the with the gun and everything it just it tells a story everywhere your eye moves there's a little story being told and i really love that about this shot uh, i gotta pat myself on the back for this one i found the right angle for it i mean if i was being nitpicky i might have moved the framing just left a little bit to move this what is this a microphone stand a little bit out to the way instead of this thing intruding in the corner i would maybe got rid of that a little bit in favor of a little bit more of the guy over the side here but aside from that pretty happy with that way that came out uh this one worked better than i thought it was going to uh, i did kind of cheat with this one a little bit there's i've got some artificial sun rays uh, i'm using a, an app called lumia to edit with and it has this thing where it can do sun rays but it does it in a really clever way, so it sort of avoids the dark areas and sort of figures out how to shine through trees and whatnot. So if we just do my before and after thing again, you can see that sort of adds a lot of drama to that shot that wasn't there before. Uh, and I've kind of blown out uh, a lot of the highlights here to make this uh, robot sort of under attack and the, and the puffiness of the smoke sort of punch a little bit more. So your eyes drawn to that, you go, oh, what's happening to that guy? And then you notice this guy here instead of his post-attack, post-slash move and everything. Uh, and I love the textures. Uh, I really, I, I popped out the textures of the brick wall down there a bit, made those much more dramatic than they were. Uh, and, and yeah, just dropped those blacks down to sort of really carve out the contrast down in that corner there. And I really like how that one came out too. That worked a lot better than I was expecting it to. Uh, I know, you know, when we took it, I had my doubts, but 
Yeah, it does pull the eye into the frame and makes you figure out what's going on and has a has a quite satisfying drama to it that I quite like. And there's this one. Yeah, it doesn't work so well. What I did with this one is I gave it a bit of a soft focus. Uh, so it's, you know, being shot with a very cheap lens and very challenging conditions. So I gave it a lot more grain than the other ones. Uh, the idea is to make it look a lot like a sort of maybe maybe a photo from World War One in the trenches or something. Just sort of, again, from the hip under pressure. Uh, and I do actually like the composition more this way uh, than I do without it, because that's just kind of boring. And I kind of regret taking the shot like I did. You do that to it, it becomes a little more interesting. Suddenly this guy stands out a little bit more than he otherwise would have because he's in that bright white shirt. So you see your eye is being led sort of through this curve in the frame. We start with her down the model, uh, middle here, the biggest person in the frame, and then we gradually go in and, ooh, what's the, what are they all hunting? What's this guy shooting at? What is this shadow here? And it, it works. It's not the great, it's, it's the worst out of the six that I took, but it, it can work. I, I don't hate it as much as I thought I would when I first took it. Uh, also, I kind of like the way uh, that this top of the frame up here is gone, the, the way that the grain and the tonality works up here. I could probably just chop that out and make a nice little panorama shot out there. Anyway, this I think is my favorite. This is the first shot we took. It's my favorite. It's just got a very, again, kind of a, a very street photography feel to it. This guy's just sort of turned and noticed the camera and was sort of got these bushes and smudges of, of the leaves in the, in, the, in the sort of foreground here and these bushes intruding. So kind of like a paparazzi shot, kind of like a street photography shot, uh, very candid kind of idea. And I love the way the shadow falls across the rock here. I was very conscious of that when I was taking this shot. Still don't like the way his foot has disappeared into the geometry of the rock. If his foot was properly placed, it would look a lot more convincing and less video gamey. But, you know, you work with what you got when you're playing a Bethesda game. Um, but yeah, I like the the big monorail thing in the background here. It sort of breaks up the, the white that was otherwise in the background. So the only white we're left with is the one that's sort of highlighting the character himself in the foreground here. So there's a lot of dead space here, which I'm not sure whether works or doesn't work. On the one hand, it's dead space and a fairly ugly texture. On the other hand, it pulls the eye, lets the eye rest on all the action. And then you notice the shadow curving across the surface here. So I don't know. It's either that one or that one. Both worked better than I thought they would. Uh, I really, yeah. But three, three of the six I'm really quite happy with. So let me know what you think. Number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six. Not in shot order, but that's just what we're calling them. That's just the order they appeared in when I imported them into the editing program for some reason. <laughs> so what do you reckon? Uh, let me know what you think of those shots. Which one is your favorite? Also, if you like, if, if this video works, if it's popular, if people watch it, people interested in it, uh, we should maybe do this again. Maybe again in this game, maybe in a different game with a built-in camera. GTA 5 has a phone camera built in. We could try that. Uh, but yeah, let me know if you want to see more of this and let me know if you have any thematic ideas. You know, throw out some ideas like high contrast or the color red or the letter T, all these kind of weird little things you can throw out at a photographer. Uh, and I've done it myself when I go on real photo walks in the real world. Uh, you know, I think about, you know, today I'm interested in the color red and I'll just go and keep an eye out for that and see what I can find. So yeah, let me know. But thank you for watching. I am Blunty and I will catch you next time. Uh, and a special thank you as always to my patrons scrolling up there. <laughs>